Let's find out how to put together a dashboard and specify who can access the dashboard. A dashboard contains one or more tiles, and each tile is a report part from a different report. If your company has more than one replicated database, you can show information from the different databases on the same dashboard by setting the data source to As Design. Before you put together a dashboard, it's helpful to know ahead of time which report parts you want to include. Take advantage of the report descriptions in Help, and also open these reports to verify that they generate information. That way, you can see for yourself the different report parts and the kind of information they show. Note that you can only create dashboards when your screen resolution is higher than 1024 pixels. To put together a dashboard, you must log on to the Sage Construction Central website as a user with a license of Mobile Dashboards Designer. Click Create Dashboards. Select a preset layout for your dashboard. This is just a guide, and you can change how the tiles are arranged and add and remove tiles as you go. To give this dashboard a name, click the Edit icon and type in the box. Click the check mark to accept the change. It's a good idea to save the dashboard design periodically as you're creating it. Accept or change the dashboard name and assign the dashboard to a category and subcategory if you want. To create a new category, type the name that you want to use and press Enter. This dashboard layout is preset with two tiles. You don't have to keep the tiles this size. You can resize a tile by dragging the sides. Select the tile that you want to work with and configure it to show a report part or text. Let's do text first. Click Text. You can enter text in the title, description, and body. Let's enter some instructions for using this dashboard. If you want to change the formatting in the title and description areas, click the Settings icon. To change the formatting in the body, use the buttons in the toolbar. When you're done with this tile, click Save. When you hover over the tile, notice a toolbar appears. It shows the name of the tile, and you can use the buttons to make a copy of the tile, show it in full screen, or use it in configuration mode so you can make changes to the tile or delete the tile entirely from the dashboard. Let's change the name of the tile. Click in the box and type over the existing text. Then click the green check mark. Remember we mentioned that you can customize the preset dashboard layout? You learned how to resize the tile. Now let's see how to add a new tile. Click the Add Dashboard Tile button at the top of the page, or Click in the gray grid until you see a plus sign, then click it. You just created a new tile. Resize it as needed by dragging the sides. This time, let's configure it to use a report part. Click Report Part. Use this window to search for the report that contains the part that you want to add to this dashboard. Use any of the boxes for your search. If you want to look for Sage reports that were imported into mobile dashboards, they're in Local Categories. The category and subcategory are how the reports are organized. Let's take a look at the menu so it makes more sense. The category is Sage. In this demonstration, the reports were imported with the Timberline Construction Data Source and then imported again with the Gold Coast Data Source. So there are two categories. The subcategories are application names. Let's find a cache management report that uses a Timberline construction data source. Click Search. One report matches the search criteria. Let's select it. 
The parts for this report are listed at the bottom half of this window. This report only has one report part, which is a grid that shows bank balances. Let's select to use it for the dashboard tile. When you open this dashboard and set the data source to As Designed, this report part will generate information using the data source stored on the report design, which is Timberline Construction. Here is the report part. When you hover over the top, notice you can specify how many records to show and refresh the data if needed. Let's add another tile, this time to show bank balances for the Gold Coast database. We'll use the same report, but the data source on this report is set to Gold Coast, not Timberline. As long as you set the data source to As Designed when you open this dashboard, these report parts will show information using the data source that's stored with the report design. Let's resize these tiles. Let's add one more report part. This time, we'll use a job cost report. We'll use the cost type summary. The cost type summary report has two report parts. Let's add the chart. Let's see how else you can customize a dashboard. Click Edit to see your options. When the information on a report part is filtered, it's helpful to know how it's being filtered and show it on the dashboard. Select to show the filter description on each tile. You can also add a description for this dashboard. To specify who can access this dashboard, click Access. This works just like setting the permissions on a dashboard report. The permissions are listed under Share With. You can grant access based on Role, which is the type of mobile dashboard's license, or User, and specify the access rights. To add another share with, click Add Sharing. To delete a share with, click the X under Action. Remember to save your changes. To exit the Access page and return to the Dashboard Design page, Click Access again. If you're all done with the dashboard, click Close. Here is the dashboard. Notice the description. You can click the dashboard name to open it, or click the plus sign for more actions. The buttons that are available depends on who's using the dashboard, their license and their permissions. If it's someone with a view-only access, they only have open. If it's someone with a designer license and they have full access, they have all the buttons and they can edit the dashboard after they open it. Want to learn more about Going Mobile? Check out Sage University. On the Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate homepage, you'll find a collection of complimentary instructional videos on mobile access. The Mobile Intelligence series covers how to set up your Sage Construction Central website and how to set up and use mobile reports and mobile dashboards.